Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys my updated everyday makeup routine that I pretty much do every day. So if you wanna see how I achieve this look every day, just keep on watching. Okay, so when it comes to putting on sunscreen, I'm the worst person to remember to put on sunscreen. But lately, I've been trying to incorporate it into my makeup routine and I noticed that it actually does make a difference. It makes my makeup stay on for longer and my face gets less oily so this one's a from the brand artistry and then it's just a matte day lotion and then it has spf 30. this is the one i use i used to always think that putting on lotion before my makeup would be such a bad idea because i didn't want my makeup to look oily underneath my skin gets oily because it doesn't have the moisture it needs so it creates the oils instead and that's why i get oily make sure you moisturize even if your skin gets oily trust me just moisturize if anything it will make it better next i go in with the elf power grip primer personally see little to no difference when i use a primer um i don't know if it's just the primer that i use my makeup ends up looking the same at the end of the day. I've been in between foundations. So for the longest, I've been using the Milani Conceal Perfect Foundation. I ran out. So then I decided, let me try a new foundation. Just see how it works. But I decided to try the Maybelline Fit Me one. And this one's the matte poreless one. But the shade is too dark for me. I don't know why I thought that this would fit my skin tone i just use a little bit of concealer and mix it in with this mix up my own little concoction here so i'm using the morphe m6 brush just to blend it out Okay, next I'm going in with my e.l.f. Camel Concealer. I like all my makeup to be matte. I am not a fan of the glossy makeup look to have my face wet. I just not, I've never been a fan of that. And powder is my best friend. So I use the Airspun powder. I use a fluffy brush and then I also use this. And I just dip it in my powder like this. And I use it to bake, but before that, let me just make sure I have no creasing before I bake. And then I just go ahead and place it under my eyes like this. Sit on my chin. Can't forget about the forehead. Swipe it off my forehead first. My eyebrows, I use the NYX Thick It Stick It. I like to think I was blessed with pretty thick brows like that i don't really need to do much to them so i just take my concealer take a flat brush and i just go ahead and line my eyebrows out and then i just take a like buffing brush and i just buff it out bring it down blend it Next, I would usually go in with a powder foundation just over top so I don't look so ghostly because the Airspun powder makes me look really light of camo powder foundation. But I just go in and get some color in my face. I don't know what brand this is. I just took it from my mom a long time ago. So I don't really know what brand this is. But I usually use this pinky color. Use the Hula bronzer. And I just go in. Give my face a little bit of dimension. For my eye makeup, if I want to do something a little extra. If I want to do something with eyeshadow, I'll usually just use my bronzer in the crease of my eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and do it just so that you guys can see, but I don't do this every day. Um, I'm just gonna grab the Hula Bronzer with a little fluffy eyeshadow brush. And I just go in the crease of my eye like this, 
just to add a little bit of color to my eyes elf disco queen i think it's a liquid eyeshadow and it's very very pretty i just go in and tap it in the inner corner i don't want to put this all over my whole eye eyeliner i use this one from la colors eye marker okay the eyeliners are going to be cousins. They're not going to be sisters. They're not going to be twins. I don't put mascara on my eyelashes all the time. But if I do, I use the Maybelline Sky High. For my top lashes, for my bottom lashes, I use the Thrive Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. And I absolutely love this mascara. The only thing is that it is a tubing mascara. If you don't know what a tubing mascara is, it's basically... It comes off so easily and when it comes off, it comes off in little like tube rolls. Um, it doesn't really smear, it just comes off in like little tubes and that's why it's called tubing mascara. But the thing is girl, if you cry with this mascara and you're out in public, if you cry, they are coming off. It is coming off in tubes. Tubes girl. At least it won't be like dark and runny like mascara like regular mascara but it's gonna come off in tubes and it's gonna come off pretty easily i'm not gonna lie lashes this all depends on if i'm feeling dramatic if i'm feeling like okay every day wispy or if i'm feeling like my everyday like cat eye or if i'm feeling like more natural so i have like it depends on the lash I'm going for, but for today's look, I'm gonna do my cat eye one. Lashes is probably the hardest thing about makeup. It took me a while to put them on. The only thing that helped me learn, like the only video that helped me learn how to put lashes on was James Charles' video of how to put lashes on. That's the only thing that helped me. So if you guys need help putting on lashes, you don't know how to put lashes on, or like it always comes out bad like watch a tutorial like there's no shame in watching a tutorial one of my biggest things was i didn't let the glue get tacky make sure you let your glue get tacky it just makes it putting it on so much easier because as soon as you put it on like it's not gonna move then i use my index and thumb and i just crimp it together with my natural lashes Okay, there's both lashes on. My last step of my makeup routine is setting spray. This is the Stay All Night Elf setting spray. And this one's like 16 hour wear. It sounds like spray paint, which is kind of scary. But I'm up to here. And it works pretty good. Okay, I lied. That wasn't my last step. If I'm feeling something on my lips, if I want something on my lips, I will do something on my lips. So, usually what I do on my lips, I use the Shein Lip Tint in the shade Birthday Lips. And it's just like this brown lip tint and it goes on like light but then gets darker over time. As you can see, it got a little bit darker. I think it's still gonna get a little more dark. But over top, I use this Artistry. This is the same brand as the my sunscreen. I use this pink Artistry lip gloss. So this is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more makeup videos, I can do more makeup videos. I like doing makeup, it's fun. So if you want to see more makeup videos, let me know. But I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. Say hello. Say hello to the camera, we. Say hello. No, talk to the camera, not to me.